And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Here we go with Ric Flair. Ultimate Warrior making a move. As we watch Ultimate Warrior, let's get your take on him. When the music hits, his chiseled silhouette sprints past you. And the Ultimate Warrior descends upon WWE for parts unknown. It's an awesome spectacle. Warrior shakes the ropes, rocks the ring, and pummels his opponent. His power transcends time and space, and you feel his energy when he enters an arena. Feel it. I feel even if you're tied to your seat, you're somehow going to get bowled over by Warrior's energy and power. Again, take it from me. Warrior's strength is not of this world, and it's all consuming. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. Oh no, Ric Flair still dazed. The reversal from Nate. The Ultimate Warrior's power and intensity knows no bounds. They do not possess any limitations and can bring the largest giant crashing to his knees. The Warriors mantra is one he always shared with his fans and it will remain a great source of inspiration. Always believe. Hey, so effective. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? The ultimate warrior is considered the forefather of ring intensity. A man who enters battles set to annihilate his adversaries and defend truth and all that is good. The ultimate warrior will go down in history as one of the most beloved and influential performance our industry has ever, ever known. Look at Flair. Zeroing in on his opponent with the precision of a five craftsman at work. It's like the Nature Boy is going a mile a minute in there. Rick's always been. Is that enough for the Nature Boy to pick up the win? I'll be surprised if it's not, Cole. Here's the cover. And he escapes with a kick out. The Ultimate Warrior is not done yet. Not today. Too fast. Oh, what's Ric Flair going to do with this? We speak a great deal about the Ultimate Warrior's power, and there's no bigger power display than his finisher. Warrior picks you up in a gorilla press slam, drops you on the canvas, and then bounces off the ropes and lands. What a move! What a smart move! Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. This could be huge. Two. Three. Well, we're on the move here. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. King, earlier you described the Ultimate Warrior's unbelievable finishing move. And when you go down the list of WWE Hall of Famers and legends that Warrior defeated with the Gorilla Press Big Splash combination, it reads like a who's who of sports entertainment icon. Yeah, I know, Cole. Unfortunately, I'm one of the names on it. You don't have to remind me. Everything about the Warrior is devastating. That finishing move literally drops his opponent right into the picture. But man, it is so painful. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. Quick thinking to avoid that. Hey, the shoulders are down. Showing no signs of letting up. 
You know, when I think of the ultimate warrior, there's one thing I think of more than anything else. His immeasurable power. Combine that with his kinetic energy, amazing endurance, and unstoppable drive, and it's no wonder he's achieved such greatness, including body slamming and defeating Andre the Giant. Detroit has had the reputation for being an electric crowd. The fans here in attendance tonight are indeed no different. The knee breaker, the end is near. <laughs> it's the end for those knees. The shoulders are down. Two. King, earlier you mentioned the ultimate warrior's Herculean power, something else that Always amazed me was the Warrior's speed. For someone who was six foot two and weighed 280 pounds, the Warrior sprinted to the ring and kept that energy level constant throughout his matches. Yeah, Michael, believe me, I was in Memphis when Warrior first started his career before he was Warrior. And I was in the ring with him in the 90s. And let me tell you, it wasn't fun. The way Warrior combined his speed and energy with his... If the Warrior hits this, it's over. And into the cover. victory. You have to like this display. Well, I like the display, but I don't know how much trust there is in the ring. 